Good morning guys, this is Kenzo Extra Hot Forex, so let's go straight to our daily analysis. It's Monday, guys, it's Monday. So obviously, we don't go, uh, we're not actually going to expect more from the market. I think the market might uh, is going to consolidate a little bit, especially when we don't actually have high impact news this week. So, but we're going to go through that and check what's really happening. So please guys, don't forget to smash that subscribe button, like share with your friends. And yeah, uh, the market uh, it's been doing some great uh, job on other like pairs, like currency pairs. And also maybe crypto, which has been selling, but it's trying to recover, but not that much. You see, so for those who wants to join the team, if you want the robot, if you want VIP signals, if you want mentorship, I have something for you. Uh, maybe that will help. Actually, we have something that maybe you can, I can say maybe it's like all in one. You can see there on the screen. It's all in one. You can just get everything for 155 dollars. Then you're not, you don't, uh, you're not going to actually uh, stress about maybe uh, whether to buy the signals or mentorship or the robot you get that as a package so yeah uh, without wasting your time let's go straight uh, to the market and see what's really happening um i hope you're gonna smash that subscribe button i hope you're gonna smash that subscribe button so yeah uh, here we are here we are we are on canada uh cat jpy uh, already as we are here it's fine i will just show you uh, some few analysis on this actually i wasn't supposed to start with this but it's fine so what's really happening on a uh, cat jpy is yes you can see that the market was doing what the market actually was just pushing up yes we can call this a very nice uptrend you can see that uh, you can see that i hope you can hear me you can see that uh, this is a very nice uptrend, but you can see that since the market was aggressively pushing to the upside, it seems like now the market wants to push lower before pushing up again. So let me just try to zoom, uh, to zoom, to zoom out a little bit. So yeah, you can see that yes, this is a quite straightforward an, uh, uptrend. You can see the market is pushing up which means we're supposed to do what to look for up trends i'm uh, sorry we're supposed to look for buy positions only so now the market is doing something like this so here the market was actually aggressively pushing up but when the market is selling uh, off here it's not like maybe the market is changing the trend no we are still on an uptrend until this area you see this area if it's going to be broken that can be something then but I'm expecting the market to reach this area to push up again, uh, something like that, you see. But here, the market was just pushing up way, way too aggressive, you see. So let's push to the next one. Uh, okay, okay, it's GBP, USD. I think maybe we'll just cover all these things, guys. I will just cover all these things because the aim here, yes, might be, it's might, uh, it might be, doing the analysis but also just to show you that the strategy that we use actually it's like seriously waking whether on currency pairs or something you can easily see that you know what our strategy is yes you should uh, uh, waking very nice so now this is gbp usd uh, what's really happening is we are also on a very nice uptrend i think this one is quite straightforward you can see that the market is is currently creating something like that. Even though it's not actually as perfect as this, but that's how the market moves. You see, that mostly it's how we show you uh, the trends, but the market will create something like this, and you have to understand that. So around this area, I think maybe the market created something like that. If we push that area to the upside, I think we are on a support area currently. So I think if we push this... Please, guys, smash that subscribe button. I think we have something like that. You see. We have something like that. Which means there is a chance or enough chance. Let's see around this. There is enough chance for the market to do what? 
to bounce back around this area so which means actually we can have a very nice buy or buy pending order around this area you see that we can have something like that we can have something like that because we're expecting the market to do what to keep pushing up as we are on an uptrend do you see that we are on an uptrend do you see that I hope you can see that. So let's push to the next one. Uh, I hope maybe this is not going to. Uh, no, let's push. Uh, USD JPY. Let me try to check this one. Please, guys, if maybe you want uh, some of the currency pairs to be analyzed here every day, uh, just let me know. Plus, smash that subscribe button, guys. Also, like, 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 like this, especially when I'm doing this for you guys. So. What's really happening here on uh, USDJPY? We are actually on a downtrend, but I think I see also something there. So let me try to draw something again. We are on a downtrend, but it seems like now the market is just... Okay. I don't know if I'm forcing that or something. I think something like that, but it's fine. Uh, what we know is the market is actually doing what? Downtrending but now we have a structure which shows us that you know what i'm consolidating so i'm just waiting for the market to break this area to do what to continue selling because that's what we're going to do especially on a downtrend like that we expecting the market to continue with the trend and the trend now is what is a downtrend so i'm expecting the market to do what to keep selling but we will do that only when the market breaks this support area do you see that if it breaks that we will continue with that and say no now it's our time to do what to keep selling i hope you see that i hope you see that so yeah let's push to the next one let's push the next one as you know i said guys we have a special uh, we have a special uh, actually let me show you that once more time uh, for those who wants to be part of the team Get the robot for $155, also the signals and the mentorship. You see, uh, that's special actually. You can see that I only need 53 people and already there's few people who joined. The reason behind that is actually next year, next year I, I don't actually want to take any new uh, members. Why? Because actually I just need to focus on myself also. So the number that I, I have there is the one that I can able to control. And after that, after that, actually after next year, let's say after next year, I no longer want to take anyone. If I can reach these 53 people, it means next year I'm not going to add any person. The other year, all the subscription will be ending. And how, uh, that actually, it will mean maybe 2023, after 2023 or 2024, I won't be taking anyone. So it means I will be actually just doing me. I'll be just focusing on myself uh, because that is like seriously jo uh, a serious job uh, that we do. I have to be here every day just for you. So what I can do is I can just go here on YouTube knowing that I no longer have anyone uh, actually. But let's join now and then after after that it will, it will be done. So we are on USD Canada, uh, USD CAD. What's really happening here is Firstly, you have to understand where the market is going. The market is actually doing what? The market is actually pushing to the upside, which we call that what? An uptrend. The market is uptrending. The market is uptrending. And when the market is uptrending, most of the time, we're going to look for what? For buy positions. For buy positions as the market is pushing to the upside yes the market sometimes can push to the lower side but that doesn't mean that the, maybe the market is on a downtrend especially when the market is still moving above our our areas here we can say yes we are confident to say we are looking for buy positions yes the market sometimes will push lower we understand that so let's see if maybe we can get something here you see that that it's a counter trend line that we can rely on currently because the market is actually moving uh, above those areas. So around this area, we also have a sort of a resistance. Or let me just go closer just to see actually what's really happening. So as we have an area here, we can say 
we understand that we are on an uptrend. For us to, to take action, uh, we can say let the market break this area. We can have a hit and run on a sell. Or if maybe the market wants to continue with that uptrend, it has to break this resistance. Then, then that's where we're going to say, yes, the market is going to continue uh, going to the upside. But besides that, we can just relax because actually the bigger structure uh, is what? It's actually uptrendy. So which means we have to respect that. There is a chance for the market to break this area, reach this area and start to push the upside. But what I like is we are watching. We are watching. So yeah, I think maybe I need to go straight to other things. Uh, Euro USD, you can see also uh, it's on actually an uptrend. Uh, the market is breaking this area. So which means there's a chance for the market to do what? To push the lower side or to come back here on the consolidation side. You can see here. Or the best way is to place it here. Because the market is actually doing what? Consolidating. The you can see the market created something like that there. So we're expecting the market to come back here. Maybe to push up or maybe to break before it pushes up. I hope you see that. I hope you see that. But yes, the bigger structure there is telling us to do what? To keep pushing to the upside. So don't forget to smash that subscribe button, like, share with your friends. Uh, what's really happening? Uh, okay. -ish. Let me check something very quick. Ah, sorry. Uh, yeah, there was someone actually. There was someone actually. So, uh, the, the reason behind this, guys, I don't know. I think my OBS is like, I don't know. You can't post these days. There is something wrong, I think. So, anyways, it's fine. Uh, it's fine. Uh, we, we were on Euro JPY. The market has been uptrending, guys, on so much stuff. So, I'm not going to look much on this, but we saw there was a breakout which we actually smashed. You can see that. You can see that the market was creating this nice uptrend. You see? The market was actually creating this sort of an uptrend. Then after we see a breakout a retest, now the market is doing what? It's going down. You can see the entry there. So I hope you understand. That's why we say you can join the team. That's why we say you can join the team because we understand that uh, there is enough chance for us to do what? To eat. I hope you understand. Now we are on 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 uh, working on Bitcoin. What's really happening on Bitcoin is the market is seriously crashing. Bitcoin market or let's say crypto market is like seriously uh, crashing, but I think maybe this will be another chance for other people to do what to get this because things might change very quick. We know we both know that we both know that. And maybe this is a very nice time for us to do what to invest again. But I'm not saying everyone to do this. What I'm saying there, uh, because this thing is also like seriously, seriously, like risky. Things might still push lower. We know that things might still push lower. But recovery, I think, is also around the corner. I don't know when, but I think uh, recovery might be around the corner. So what's really happening now is since the market actually showed us that, you know what, I'm selling, I'm, aggressive, uh, I'm aggressively selling, 
we also see that we have a consolidation move, which means the market might be doing what? The market might be actually deciding whether to push the upside or to continue with that downtrend. Because if we see a breakout here, we will know that, oh, this thing is going to melt again. Or if the market goes above this resistance, maybe it will be trying to show us that, you know what, I'm trying to push to the upside. Do you see that? I hope you see that. I hope you see that. I hope you understand that. So, yeah, uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see the next one. I think this video is getting longer and longer. So now we are on German DAX. What's really happening on, De on, on German? We are actually on an uptrend. You can see that. I hope maybe you can go and watch my daily anal uh, my weekly analysis, which I did yesterday. Quite similar because the market did not actually move that much. So you can see that actually where we are, we are actually on a resistant. The market actually maybe is trying to retest or maybe will try to push lower again. We don't know what will happen, but it's much better to wait for the market to open and see what's really happening you can see that the market is actually on the resistance so there's a chance for the market to uh, to to break that to come back here on the support or even push to the support area again maybe before pushing to the upside but if maybe it breaks this as uh, a resistance we're expecting to buy the reason behind that is we are actually on an uptrend, on an uptrend, so we're still expecting the market to push the upside. As you can see, that we also have some sort of a, a actually a buy pending order there. So what's really happening on on gold is the market was actually on a very nice uptrend, which me uh, which still I think actually we are still on that uptrend. I think whatever that is happening here, it might be a sort of actually uh, a reversal. Because that this uptrend was like seriously aggressive. Maybe the market is re it's reversing. Uh, maybe we might see something like this. You can see that was like seriously aggressive. So we might see something like, uh, as you see the market, we might see something like this. And when we connect this, it might make sense after. But for now, we can also focus on whatever that we see and say, you know what? Since the market broke out of our of our uptrend will be actually looking for what uh, for that downtrend but for that downtrend to happen it means we'll actually look for this area to be broken because you can see the market is like heavily actually consolidating which means why don't we wait for the market to break this support area before we say now it's time for us to go down because we don't really want to say we sell then the market start to continue with the trend previous trend because this was very steep and mostly when the market is steep is going to break that it's not going to respect this steep trend even though it's still going to continue with that trend the market won't just keep up with the trend like that you see so but the market can keep up with a trend which moves like that smooth you see so which means here the market can sell off to try to create a trend like that. I hope you understand that. I hope you understand. And if you understand, smash that subscribe. Sm oh, smash that like. So what's really happening on US oil? Yes, we did actually smash this one several times. And now it seems like early in the morning, the market was doing what? The market was continuing with the downtrend. The market kept going lower and lower do you see that so it means like it seems like the market uh, oil actually it seems to be like continue to bleed you can see we broke out of that uh, stronger support that we have uh, here the market did touch that and push up here the market did not even touch the market just ran away from that support but currently we have a breakout which i actually missed but what I'm going to do is, it's not what I like is, yes, we knew that the market was downtrending and maybe we can just wait for a retest, but we don't even like have to maybe wait for a retest because the market was already on a downtrend. So unfortunately, we missed it uh, where it was breaking out, but I think that will make a very nice trade. Uh, but I think maybe reversal is necessary as we missed that. Uh, maybe we can have something like that. You see.
that is also possible but it's better to wait for the market to give us a, a structure that we're supposed to say okay uh, maybe we can wait for the market to do something like that don't just jump on the market just because you just want to trade that's the problem uh, now we are on your state your state uh, Dow Jones what's really happening on Dow Jones or US 30 firstly you can see that the market is actually doing what uptrending which is something that we all like uh, it seems like the market actually is doing what is trying to recover so now the market is actually exactly on our support area so what do we expect here yes i think this uh, trend is like aggressively pushing to the upside you can see here the market was consolidating uh, as day actually last week when we have like uh thanksgiving and stuff like that so we have a resistance here so since the market is very steep we're just going to rely on two of them we can say this horizontal one also is going to be way important for us because there's a chance for the market to do it to adjust to break that and then push up again so if the market uh, breaks this one also we're not go just going to say uh we're not going to say the market is broken out maybe we need to sell immediately nope we can say if the market breaks also this we can say now it's a very nice time to do it to sell or maybe the market will touch this and continue with that trend that is also possible that is also possible but currently the market will be way too slow especially when it's monday uh, the market will just mostly the market will just consolidate so let's push to the next deck Whoa, Nasdaq is pushing down. Nasdaq is trying to push lower. So this is actually a different picture from what we saw from actually uh, actually US state. This is actually still down trending, way, way too down trending. So what's really happening is, yeah, or before, maybe before I continue, uh, for those who maybe just skipped to Nasdaq, I just want to show you guys that we actually have a special this special actually it's limited to 53 people and there's also people who already joined which means these are the last people that are they going to join my team whether you want signals whether you want mentorship whether you want the robot that you're going to get that and after that i'll no longer take anyone my job will be just doing actually youtube i will just do only youtube and focus on myself guys there's, because there's time where people they just need to grow uh we're not going to do all these things like mentorship or the signals forever so whatever that i'm going to do i think is going to end uh, next year then other time then is going to be on me so if you want to be part of, of that journey part of that team just let me know and i know guys uh whatever that comes with the robot i'm just going to show you everything uh the video for that how to set up the video so the, set up the robot how to plug it everything it's quite straightforward you don't actually need an experience so it's auto trading so signals you're just going to receive signals on telegram uh, mentorship is where we're going to meet like almost monday to friday uh, on zoom where i'm just going to show you steps by steps on how to trade how to manage your risk how to be profitable simple as that so i hope you understand that so let's go back actually to our nasdaq and see what's really happening so you can see that yes the market is actually been pushing lower but if we go closer there we just want to understand what we we whatever that's happening here i don't know if maybe this will make sense i don't know i don't know so i think i will just have to wait so what do we have here we have actually few structures that we can rely on on top there we know that we have a resistance and on the bottom here we have the lowest support which is quite strong so and around this area we also have another support which means the market might touch this area before pushing up or maybe the market will then break this area and if the market breaks that we will then say okay i think it's fine maybe the market will be trying to push the lower side especially when we still have a resistant line on top of there that resistant line i think maybe you saw that uh, you can also go back and watch my previous videos or my weekly analysis you will see that better you can see that maybe the market is struggling to push the upside maybe this downtrend uh, maybe sorry not downtrend uh, bearish momentum is still very strong 
the market might continue pushing lower and lower simple as that so thank you very much guys if uh, if don't forget to smash that subscribe button like share with your friends like share like share with your friends guys uh, i think this week we're not going to go on our live session just make sure that you watch the the daily analysis support the team guys support the channel and by doing that that's seriously great so thank you very much this is kenzo and maybe if maybe you just want to learn by yourself here on youtube there's other videos that are actually available for members you can do the subscription there then you can able to watch those videos videos for entries risk management trading psychology all those things you're gonna get them on or on this channel but you have to pay that uh, membership so it's not actually for free because we share so much stuff for free here so thank you very much this is kenzo extra out forex see you on the next one